one city councillor in Ottawa is proposing a rather unique way to tackle the city's rat population. Lane Johnson wants Health Canada to approve a rat contraceptive that's been used in several U.S. cities. And she joins me now to discuss. Councillor, good morning. We should have put a good warning morning. that if you're squeamish or you don't like roads, you might want to you may want to choose to not listen to this story. How bad is the rat problem right now in Ottawa and what's behind it? Well, I think Ottawa, as many cities, are experiencing unprecedented growth. And both the province of Ontario and the federal government are asking us to build more homes faster, which means we are seeing more development. Our infrastructure projects and our transit projects are more complex and deeper, which means that we're disrupting more rat habitats than ever before. And so where are people reporting that they are seeing the rats? Well, many of our LRT stations, including in my neighbourhoods, are right behind people's homes. And so as you disrupt those rats, they're coming into people's backyards. So in the downtown core, certainly neighbours have been experiencing uh, rat infestations for a long time. But even in now more, our more suburban areas that are going to be served by future transit, they're saying, I've never seen a rat before and now I'm trying to shovel them out of my basement as well. Right. And now uh, rats are known for um, growing their families. Can I say it that way? Um, so you now, can. Yeah. <laughs> So you're proposing a type of birth control for rats. How does this bait work? Yes. So what I am proposing in my motion is that Health Canada accelerate its review of a product that is being used in several cities across the United States. Instead of being a poison in the typical way, it's a bait. So it's a very tasty, sweet food uh, that rats like to eat, but it isn't lethal. So rats don't die after eating it. They reduce their ability to have many, many, many babies, as you say. And so the population of rats also doesn't learn that that bait is dangerous for them. So they will continue to eat it, which only increases its effectiveness or at least the data is showing that in these cities in the state. Is it only so appealing I, to rats? Uh, yes. Well, the, the active ingredient is uh, cottonseed oil, which is a, a naturally occurring food additive that has this effect specifically within rat populations. And so it also doesn't have sort of those secondary poison effects that like if an owl or a hawk or even a cat eats a rat that has poison in its body, they can be affected. This, this doesn't have those same ancillary effects. Have other cities used this method with success before? Not in Canada. So it is in its pre-consultation phase with Health Canada, which is why I'm asking for the federal government to accelerate its review. But in Seattle, in Washington, D.C., uh, and in New York, they're just putting forward a motion for their pilot. And they're seeing reductions in their rat populations purportedly around 90%. So this is a huge advantage uh, for this particular type of approach. And cities don't necessarily have to do anything differently. You don't need to create new administration. You don't need to create a new policy. We're already using poison baits. So we would replace that with this product. Now, I am not a scientist, so I'm not pretending to do the review myself. My motion is simply for the right uh, governmental body to, to take a look faster because cities are feeling the effects now. Are you getting support from other councillors? Well, yes. I mean, everyone has a nice giggle, which is also nice in the, politic, the political world. People don't always get a chance to laugh. Uh, so it is a little bit funny, but it is a, a science-based approach. And so certainly uh, city councillors have been feeling quite impotent on the issue. We haven't had many ways to address the rat problem. So people are curious about innovative technologies, most definitely. Okay, well, we're going to follow this story. I do want to ask you lastly, because you mentioned that you use poison. Um, and this sounds like a more humane approach to controlling the rat population. I am wondering what you say to people who are listening, thinking, no, I want these rats dead and gone. Uh, this isn't going far enough. We still need to use poison. And so, Councillor, what do you say to that? Well, I think that generally the decrease in the rat population is more significant with this approach. Uh, 
rats do learn about poisons. So they will avoid those traditional poisons once they see that they are lethal within their population. And then you also get to control all the other ways that rat poison can get into our, our populations. You know, sometimes people have rat poison in their homes to deal with this themselves. And so you can have a lot of knock-on health effects that I think we could circumvent with a new product like this and have even faster results. All right, you're thinking outside the box. Uh, Lane Johnson is an Thank Ottawa you. City Councillor. Keep us posted. Thanks so much.